Hey, what's going on guys? Josh Games War here. We're back with another video and today I'm gonna show you guys how to make a Roblox exploit loading screen because I made because I made the last video on how to make a basic uh, or advanced whatever you want to call it Roblox exploit with the script hub and somebody commented and said they wanted a loading screen for they wanted me to do a loading screen for a video. So uh yeah. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your exploit source from last video. That's what I'm going to open up my exploit source from the last video. So this tutorial is kind of easy. So uh, yeah. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your yeah, open up your project. Then you want to go to, you want to go to your project name and then right click it and then go to add. And then go to form. And then you want to name it Wanna name it? Oh God! It's still loading. Okay, there we go. Loading. Okay. Loading you. Loading UI. All right, hold up. My mom's calling me. All right, I just had to help my mom with something. But anyways, I'm gonna do loading UI CS. Press add. And then you've got it right here. Now we're going to design it. We're going to make a basic design. Let's do none. Then let's do 40, 40, 40, 40. There we go. So now I'm going to add a panel at the bottom. I'm going to add a panel at the bottom to make it look kind of cool. This is just for design. You guys don't actually have to do this. Also, I'm gonna add a second one and put it like in the corner so it looks like I don't know. <laughs> what? Okay, for some reason, it didn't work. There we go. So now, what? Okay, for some reason, it's not letting me put two of these. So I'm just gonna do the. I'm just grabbing from the toolbox because it's glitching out right now. There we go. So now I'm gonna put this one in the corner. So I'm gonna make this one like uh, 50 50. Or actually, it's gonna be 30 30 30. And then I'm gonna make this. 50, 50, 50. There we go. So, uh, yeah. So now we got, like, the bottom part of the design done. Now we're going to add a picture box. Yeah, a basic picture box. Put it... I'm gonna put it in the corner, because this is where we're gonna be, like, the loading logo. Right here. Then, to add the logo, to add the image, you want to go to background image. And then you want to add your image. Just click import to add the image. I already added an image. I'm going to use this one. And then if it comes out like that, you want to go to background image layout. Then go to zoom. Or you can go to stretch. So I'm going to put it as stretch and I'm going to do it like that. There we go. So now I'm going to do the title, which is just like up here. Then I'm going to put this up here. Lo loading. There we go. So here is our loading thing. I'm also gonna put a text here that says, um, what should I have it say? Should I say, please wait while next is loading? There we go. Please wait while YouTube X is loading. There we go. So now, now we're going to get to the coding. So the thing you want to do is you want to go into the first link in the description and download the loading code. So once you got the loading code, you just want to take go to the code and then copy everything in it. Yeah, you want to copy everything in it. Then you want to go to the toolbox and then and then go to and then type timer, then add a timer, and then go to the properties of the timer, and then put enable to true, and then put interval to 50 then double click it down here to go to the code 
then paste in the code from earlier. And then if it underlines thread, all you want to do, right click it, then do quick actions, and then do system.threading. And then to do this, this all you want to type here is the main thing of your exploit, the main ex the like the main where I, the executor is, which is YouTube X, so I'm just gonna type e YouTube X right here and replacing form two. So yeah. So I wrote these I wrote these uh, little messages to tell you what each thing does if, for people who don't just understand uh, C sharp. So uh, yeah. So now that we got the loading screen done, so the loading screen should work, but when you actually start it, it does not start the loading screen, it starts the actual program, or it starts the executor. To fix that, all you want to do is you want to go to program.cs, and then right here, where it says YouTube X, you want to replace that with loading UI. Then, once you start, it should bring up the loading UI and then BAM then it loads up the regular UI just like that that's how you make a basic loading screen it's pretty easy and that's why this tutorial is really short but also I'm gonna add one more thing to it which is gonna make it look pretty cool so well let me close it in my task manager it's, oh, never mind it's not even open okay so um yeah so, what you want to do is you want to go to loading UI and then go to timer 1. Then, un yeah, then under timer 1.stop. Oh no, under thread.sleep 300, 3000, or pff, 3 for 300. Pff, I literally can't even talk right now. 3000, which is just 3 seconds. Then, going, yeah, then I'm going to type a message, message box.show. Then the text goes goes here and I'm just gonna type something like thanks for using YouTube X enjoy your no key system experience you know I'll just say enjoy your no key system exploit there we go so so um anyways now we got it working and I don't what was this error for oh okay let me just put because this is expected there we go so now let's let's start it up and it should work now so um where's, okay here's the loading UI yeah here's the loading UI and I don't, oh yeah here it is Thanks for using YouTube X. Enjoy your no key system exploit. Uh oh, it's like my computer's like glitching out right now. Uh oh. Okay, <laughs> I think so. I think the thing just bugged. But anyways, let's test it out. Loading. Uh oh. Okay, for some reason, something is not working. So let me just delete this and see if it's working. So maybe the message box is broken or something. Maybe it's just my computer. Here it is. Okay, there we go. For some reason, when I put the message box in, it screwed something up. Maybe I'll do it after timer one to stop. Try it. Message box. Message box dot show. Oh god. Message box dot the Oh god. Then I'm just gonna type text. I'm too lazy right now. <laughs> so. Oh my god, I did it when it was still debugging. Alright, let's just try it again. Loading. There it is, text. Okay, for some reason it's working now. If you if you do it under this, I think it breaks it for some reason. So anyways, I'm just going to type... I'm just going to type, welcome to YouTube X. Enjoy your... No key system exploit so I keep, I keep forgetting to close it okay there we go let's see if it works bam there we go that's how you make a basic loading screen 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe. Without further ado, this is Josh Games More signing off. Peace.